Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So last week's movie video was a theory all about my favorite Disney movie of all time, which was Cinderella. So I thought today we could do a theory all about my favorite Disney Pixar movie of all time, Ratatouille. So this is a theory that I am obsessed with because it just adds a little bit more magic to an already extremely magical movie. And that is the theory that Chef Gusto had a little chef aka a rat that could cook of his own. Meaning that Linguini was not the only one in the family that learned how to cook from a rat. And after you hear this theory, there is actually quite a lot of evidence to it. So let's just get on into it. So in the film, we know that Skinner hires his very own lawyer to perform a DNA test between Linguini and Chef Gusto. But after he performs a DNA test, he comes back to Skinner and says that he had to send the results back to the lab. Why? Because one of the hairs came back as rodent hair. Now when we heard this everyone just presumed that they had in fact found Remy's hair. However, we don't know this for sure. As the lawyer never specified that the hair had actually come from Linguini, we all just presume this. However, in the film we don't actually see the lawyer take hair from anyone except for Chef Gusto. In the film we only see Skinner's lawyer take a hair from Chef Gusto's chef hat. We don't see him take any hair from Linguini and in fact in the film the only way that we see that they could have gotten DNA from Linguini himself is through a saliva test as evident through the very drunken wine scene where Linguini drinks a little bit too much wine as given to him by Skinner. So therefore the rodent hair didn't come from Linguini because they didn't take any of Linguini's hair. It instead came out of Chef Gusto's hat meaning that Chef Gusto had his very own little rat chef. This also explains Chef Gusto's downfall just a little bit more because it doesn't really make sense why one of the best chefs in all of France all of a sudden didn't know how to cook. And the reason he all of a sudden didn't know how to cook is because he was never originally cooking. His little rat chef that was on his head controlling him was the one that was cooking. And therefore, when the rat sadly passed away, Gusto no longer knew how to cook. That is why his restaurant fell into shambles and he was creating recipes that Colette described as a disaster because he didn't actually know how to cook. The rat had been cooking the entire time. So all of the recipes that he left behind were basically full of crap that he had just tried to put together and it wasn't until Remy came along, another rat, that he knew how to fix them. More evidence is that no one really moves involuntary when they're pulled on by their hair. That's pretty weird that Linguini does that and so it would explain that if his father had been doing it for years from another rat that it would be a hereditary thing and that he would would have gotten that from his father. That explains why Remy is then able to control him through his hair because his father had been controlled through his hair for many, many years. Even more evidence is that G Chef Gusto's main quote in life is that anyone can cook. And it would explain that if he had a little rat chef that he really would know that anyone truly can cook. So that is all the evidence to this theory. There is a little bit more, but I don't really consider it full evidence. It's just a little extra that may work, may not. But in the opening sequence, when we see Gusto on the cover of a food and wine magazine, there is something underneath his chef hat, whether that be his little rat helper, or perhaps it's a shadow or it's just hair, which is why I didn't include it in real evidence, but it could possibly be the figure of the rat. And that is the entire theory. As I was looking into this, just like the Cinderella one, a lot of people actually believed this was true and didn't think it was a theory at all. And they had thought it ever since they originally watched their film. So what do you guys think? I think that it is true and really, really cool because <laughs> it adds some more magic to the movie. So if you did enjoy this theory, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload two times a week, every Tuesday and Friday. And if you want to see more of my face I am on Instagram Pinterest and Twitter my links are down below and on the screen right now and that is all for today's video I will see you on Tuesday and remember anyone can cook